That'll get your heart going. <laughs> the beat of the music you just heard was set by the woman running on the treadmill, and it's all done by how much energy she's putting into that workout. Her heart rate actually determines how fast or slow the cadence of the music. New at 5, Tenders reporter Craig Herrera shows us how it works and the San Diegans behind it. So you've laced up your shoes and you're ready to go for a walk or a run, but you want to be sure you're efficient with your workout. Well, now there's an app for that, and it was developed right here in San Diego. Blair Williams loves to run. I've always been a runner, and I've always had a hard time finding the right music to work out. It takes a lot of time to make your own playlist, um, and then you always end up with a song you don't like on it. And now there's an app to find the music she likes, but this one is very unique. We can synchronize the music to someone's heartbeat or to their steps. The music speeds up or slows down based on how fast or slow the person is moving. Studies show that when you do that, you have up to 33% more intrinsic motivation. Which means you feel more motivated while exercising. You know, I had never really thought about heart rate before, and then when I started training with it, um, I realized it was a really good tool. Um, here is her heart rate and the zone that she's in. It's something developers have been trying to do for she's years. Here's how it works. Like You'll download the app, select the music genre you want provided by DJs from around the world, and hit play. We can synchronize it with your steps, or if you have a heart rate monitor, sync it with your heart. If I'm doing a tempo run, I can choose music that's a little faster. If I'm doing a long, slow, steady run, I can choose some of our longer mixes. And the app is color-coded to let her know when she's going too hard. When I get out of the green zones, um, which means I'm getting a little too excited during my run and I probably need to slow down. At the Evo Nexus Startup Studios in downtown San Diego, Craig Herrera, 10 News. Already downloaded the app. Going to use it. it with my bike tomorrow. That's going to hold me accountable. Yes. I'm all over it. All right. The basic version is free, we're told, but if you're training for a big event, you can get that paid membership, which starts at about $3 a month. The developers call it music that reacts to mm -hmm. you, so if you're stuck in traffic, that app might slow, play slow music to help you slow your heart rate and avoid that road rage.